Hi, I am Dr. Siddharth Sarma and you are watching this video on Library. I practice at uh, Pain Relief Center in Chembur and uh, the topic for this video is how can you avoid a spine surgery and when not to avoid it. So many a times uh, many patients uh, come to us with this option that uh, they want a second opinion and they have been advised uh, spine surgery and uh, they want to avoid it and how they can avoid it. Uh, typically we have seen in our patients that they don't want to undergo any surgery and uh, they have seen the worse uh, happen to their colleagues or friends or they have heard bad things about surgery and uh, that's why they want, don't want to go for it. So uh, yes you can avoid a lot of uh, uh, times you can avoid uh, this uh, surgery and you can uh, get rid of your pain. Uh, but there are some instances where you probably cannot avoid surgery. So when you can avoid surgery is when the uh, uh, when the compression is not much on your nerve roots and when the damage is not much and it is reversible and uh, pain is itself become a disease, there is a neuropathic pain. So in those cases you can uh, avoid surgery but the surgeon will not suggest surgery anyway in those cases. Uh, in uh, another approach which you can follow uh, to avoid an open surgery at least is that you can go for minimally invasive procedures. So uh, with your pain uh, specialist or with your uh, spine pain specialist uh, at pain relief center you have this option of uh, uh, undergoing a minimally invasive procedure and uh, by minimally invasive I mean that there is no open surgery, uh, no uh, prolonged hospital stays. Uh, you can get discharged on the same or the next day and uh, these procedures um, uh, can also have uh, good results uh, or similar results to the open procedures and uh, without any uh, uh, side effects or with minimal side effects and uh, uh, a very common example of this procedure is uh, the spine endoscopy which is being done for uh, a lot of uh, spinal indications now uh, it has still not uh, replaced surgery per se but it's a viable alternative to especially for those patients who want to avoid uh, this uh, surgery and uh, uh, still get cured of their uh, back pain. Uh, this uh, procedure is uh, uh, done under local anesthesia and uh, uh, it is uh, uh, the patient comes uh, to the hospital and uh, uh, is taken to the operation theater, lies prone on an operation table and uh, uh, the local area is numbed and with the help of a needle uh, uh, we reach his uh, uh, problem area and uh, there we put in our endoscope we see it on a big TV and um, uh, on that TV we see a very small nerve also uh, which uh, can be seen in a uh, very big uh, uh, you can say screen and uh, it appears very big and we can actually do uh, very fine things there and uh, take out the offending portion if there is a disc compressing or if there is a portion of a uh, tissue intruding or something uh, we can always uh, clear it out and uh, give relief to the patient and the patient walks uh, almost instantaneously and uh, uh, can walk do his uh, go to the washroom do his routine activities um, uh, we advise uh, rest which means that patient cannot uh, go for um, uh, strenuous activity, moderate activity, cannot bend and lift weights but uh, uh, other than that it's perfectly fine to move and um, uh, the patient is fairly mobile, can take care of himself and uh, can resume work after a few weeks um, by work, resuming work means just like he used to do before he had this kind of pain. So in many conditions this uh, surgery can be avoided. However there are some indications where you will uh, you may require an open surgery for example in uh, many cases of uh, long-standing uh, stenosis where uh, the patient uh, has uh, or needs multiple level decompression or when there is trauma especially uh, when there is a uh, paresis there is uh, corda even many cases of corda can be treated uh, with the, uh, nowadays with uh, the endoscopy 
and uh, however there are still indications for open surgery and you should consult your pain specialist who will guide you appropriately and uh, advise you regarding that uh, we at pain relief center uh, are ready to help you so if you have um, been advised a spinal surgery and you want an opinion we welcome you to come to us and seek our opinion thank you